Um, uh, uh, first off, um, uh, Coach Alexander at Clayton State, what a great guy. Uh, I've known Coach a long time, really appreciate them uh, coming to play, and um, he does a really nice job, and they got uh, really nice young men, and <clears throat> they're a really good basketball team and well coached, so uh, really appreciate Coach Alexander and his group. Uh, regarding us, uh, obviously the first half, we just, uh, we've been really good in the summer, spring, summer, fall, and preseason, and um, uh, I just, we didn't play, we didn't, we didn't play that uh, the not right way all year, all off season until this first half. We just didn't move the ball. The ball stuck too much. Um, everybody knows I, I'm a big believer in the open man's the go-to man, the go-to man's the open man, not to give the ball a headache or massage it. The thing's got to move. And we just, the ball got stuck a lot the first half. And I don't know if it was because of the first time this season we played underneath the lights and you know, guys were, you know, thinking too much and, and whatever it may be. So second half, we were much better. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, But we'll get that corrected because we're just a better team when the ball's free-flowing and moving and, and those type of things. Um, look, we scored over 80 points against Vanderbilt. We scored over 80 points against Tulane. We scored over 90 today. So we've been scoring the ball. But one of the things I've told our team, our pathway to be successful when we aren't shooting the ball well, because we are a good shooting team, and we didn't really shoot it that well today other than Lance. Um, um, <clears throat> uh, but our pathway to be successful is through rebounding, offensive and defensive rebounding. And I've always said that when you're not shooting the ball well, what gives you coverage, it, the umbrella, as I like to say, the, the coverage is rebounding on both sides of the floor. That protects you. And tonight, you know, what kept us alive was we had 21 offensive rebounds. And that's an effort thing. That's, that's important to us. You know, that's about effort. And, uh, um, you know, we talk about foot advantage and slicing on the glass. And then defensively, um, uh, you know, we, we did some good things defensively in our zone, on the ball, man-to-man. -man. We didn't guard the ball well. We've got to be better than that. But they did have 14 offensive rebounds. And I've said this, part of our – some of the issues in the zone – uh, we get stretched a little bit, which opens up some opportunities for rebounding. We've just got to get that cleaned up. But um, in the end, we only had 11 turnovers. Um, <clears throat> um, got to shoot better from the free throw line. Got to clean up those second, first chance rebounds from the other team. We got to just limit them to one shot. And uh, we got to really just guard the ball better. But glad we won that first game. Much better the second half. Rodney Howard, a double-double. Lance Terry obviously hit some big threes. Um, everybody else was solid. Jalen Moore came in and had nine boards for us. Davon, seven defensive rebounds. So uh, good good opportunity to start off on on um, on a win on that. And I do want to say um, the young man, Mike, who, who's got um, nominated for the uh, for football on that, the walk-on, uh, Joe? Joe Fusel. Joe Fusel for the, for the what's the award? Burl Swinson. Yeah, I mean, great honor by him because uh, – um, I don't know if anyone's seen the movie, you know, with the movie, it's it, what an incredible human being and to be in that, um, <clears throat> to be in that uh, uh, conversation with, with, with him is a uh, real special honor. So uh, shout out to that young man on Georgia Tech to, to be in that because uh, the guy, that award that he's named after is, is, you know, just an incredible human being and had done a lot of good to a lot of people for a lot of people. So uh, congratulations to him on that. So. Yep. Okay, questions for Coach Besser, Rod? What did uh, Clayton State do to exploit the zone in the first half that they weren't able to do in that second half? You know, Rod, I mean, I, I, <clears throat> I just think part of it, um, you know, we talk about getting to seven, three stops in a row. And uh, first half, we, only, we had two to start. Then we didn't get any of the, the rest of the first half. Um, part of it was we didn't do a great job of guarding the ball. And, but more than that, it was more about just we didn't play the right way offensively, and which led to them getting open opportunities and fast breaks, and and our we just didn't play the right way uh, in the in the first half offensively in some areas, and that led to them getting some open shots and threes. So we got to clean that up. I again, like I think I like I said, I believe that's coming from being under the lights the first time this season and um, but we'll get that cleaned up because we're, we're we're good when the ball moves the open man's got to be the go-to man the go-to man's got to be the open man that ball can't stick or it can't be my shot it's got to be our shot 
And I've said it from the beginning, the star of this team has got to be the team, and we've got to just have that uh, all, all, all the time. But, the, but they had some tough shots. They had some, you know, they're a good, good team, but we, we were able to course correct at halftime and made the adjustments needed and pulled away. What do you think helped Lance shoot better in that second half where he went three or four from three? Yeah, no, look, I, Lance is a good player. I just think same thing, first half, first time underneath the lights, trying to first time at Georgia Tech underneath the lights. Lance has been really good for us. I call him Mr. Dependable. Uh, it's just what's one of those things where he just had to get his feet, you know, kind of just getting feet underneath them and getting understanding the, the playing in McCamish under the lights. I just think that was part of the, the first deal. I know you you told us before the, the first game that you, you're going to go a little deeper in the rotation and you're going to be looking for, you know, balanced scoring from your team. And I guess I think you went nine deep most of the game. I think six guys in double figures. Uh, were you satisfied with what you saw from your scoring? Yeah, I, I think with our group, you know, everybody knows I, I have always played probably less guys than more guys. But I think for this year's team, based on our balance, that um, – um, and that it's going to be better for us, for at least for the initial stage, to play. You know, we can we are good enough to play nine because of our shooting on the perimeter. It maybe didn't all show out today, um, but we can really shoot the ball. And um, if, so our nine guys right now, the nine, the main nine that played the main minutes, are you know, it's a really it's a good nine. And so, um, but we got other good guys. Jordan Mecca was 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 hurt. So he wasn't able to get in, and um, <clears throat> and he's been really playing well as, as well in practice. But um, um, yeah, just balance. The star of the team's got to be the team. It seemed like you adjusted the zone going from the first half to the second half. Can you speak about that a little bit? Yeah. Look, I mean, you know, we we're uh, defensively we're unique at what we do, and. Um, um, <clears throat> We've been very good defensively in my time here, and so we've got to hang our hat on that. And as I said, our umbrella for gives us coverage when we're not play, shooting the ball well is got to be rebounding. Um, and you know, we got on the glass offensively, 21 offensive boards. We got to be, you know, gave up 14 offensive rebounds. Again, in the zone, when the way we stretch, there's some holes in that that we've got to clean up. Um, you know, we've been we've been very fortunate for my you know for most of my years here. We've had a tremendous shot blocker in the back. We might not have that right now, so, but our bigs can really move. So we've got to use that to our advantage more so maybe than the shot blocking right now. <clears throat> you mentioned Jordan was out today with an injury. Is that something uh, short term, or is that something that might go into December and into conference play? No, I just think that's a short term deal. Nothing nothing more than that. I, I thought that you know when when you inserted Jalen Moore into the game that really gave the the team a lift in that second half. Uh, he's one of those guys that can be really active, athletic. Yeah, he's going to make some some mistakes out there, but I, it seems like the more he he's out there, the more comfortable he's becoming. Yeah, J Jalen, you know, uh, the only school that offered him a scholarship coming out of high school was us. Um, and uh, I think I, I've said this. I think Jalen Moore is going to be have a chance to be a little like very similar development as Moses Wright, and um, um, same type of development. He's going to be really good. And I think he struggled the first half. I think there was some just struggle there. And um, but uh, the second half, he you know he came alive. And there's been glimpses in our preseason, and you know in the in the practices where he's just been really really good and uh, his his best basketball is just ahead of him the more he plays the better he'll get and by the time you see him in, in january he'll be a different guy than he is today anything else for coach Aaron? what'd you see from your freshmen today getting them in for that last little bit just yeah look i mean fr freds and Kirill are going to be good players i mean they they both were in high school playing high school and aau basketball in august i mean literally two Two, two and a half months ago, they were in, literally in high school. So they got here. They're, they're just physically behind. Um, Fred's can really shoot it. Carroll's seven feet, 245. He's going to be a good player. They're just freshmen. And part of what we, you know, we're going to develop them and get them better, and that's part of, that's our responsibility, which they will. But they're just, they're behind right now. They've missed all the summer. 
and it's just going to take them a little time. So it's kind of the same thing as is I think there'll be different guys once we get to January and they just get more experience of playing every day in practice. Okay, Coach Fester, thank you. Okay, thank you, everybody. Appreciate it.